What's up, data people? My name is Matthew Hevron, and today we are going to be embedding a Tableau dashboard into our React app. If you go back to the last lesson, we got set up and we created a React app, but now this is where we do the embedding. So if you haven't done the other part, go ahead and watch those videos, get caught up, and then jump back into this lesson. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do is go to the documentation. So I'll put a link in the description below, but you can see how we can get started. The first thing you need to do is add this script in there. This lets you communicate with Tableau and the JavaScript API. So what we'll do is we'll go up to the documentation. You can go look at their basic embed. Let's go look at the code here and you can see here's that script. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And let's navigate over to our index file. I'll make this a little bit wider so you can see. Underneath the title, let's go ahead and paste that. We'll just put it on one line. Um, one thing I wanted to show you, right now it's called React App, but we're doing a basic embed. So let's go ahead and change that to basic embed. And once that loads, you can see now it says basic embed at the top. Perfect. Now let's navigate back to app.js. I'll make this a little bigger again. And let's click on your source folder and let's go ahead and create a components folder. Components. And then inside components, let's create our basic embed.js component. So now we have our component created. Let's go ahead and build that out. Um, there's a command we can use. If you downloaded the snippets, um, the extensions, this ES7 React Redux, go ahead and get this one because this is really helpful. It can make development time a lot quicker. So if we come in here, I'll demonstrate, we can say RFCE and that's a React functional component with an export. I can just hit enter and you can see we have our basic embed. Um, it, it gets the name from here, so it's really easy. We can just come in here. Let's try a basic hello world. And what we need to do is call this component. So we'll go back to our app.js and we will say basic Embed, I'm waiting for, oh, there it is, basic embed. So we can pull that in, that, it's the auto import, so it pulled it in for us. We're pulling it from the components, basic, basic embed. Now let's close this off. So now we have our app.js has basic embed and it's calling basic embed, which should display hello world. So if we come over here and we go to our basic embed, there it is, hello world. So we have our component set up, and so now we need to communicate with the JavaScript API and embed a data viz. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the Tableau library from the window object. So this is just lets us use uh, the Tableau JavaScript API library. So what we'll say is, const tableau equals window. So go ahead, do that. Next thing we'll do is we'll get our tableau public URL. So what I'll do is inside my function here, I'll say URL equals, and let's go ahead and make that a constant. So navigate to any dashboard you want. I'm gonna go to my dashboard here. If you go to the share, you can copy this link. Go ahead, paste it in. Make this a little bit larger so you can see it again. We don't need all this extra, so we can just, after overview, go ahead and just delete all of this. So now we have the const URL in here. Now we have to import a couple of hooks. We're gonna be using a couple of hooks and again, I'll put the documentation for the hooks. We're gonna be using use ref and the use effect hook. So we'll just go ahead and import those. Don't need that. 
okay? And we'll come in here and we're gonna say const ref is equal to use ref and we will set that to null. And then in this div, we'll get rid of this. And in this div, what we want to do is we want to put div and we'll say ref is equal to ref. And then we'll go ahead and close that off. And next, let's build the viz object um, with the URL and some options for the width. So what we'll do is we'll just come in here and here's another shortcut for you. So it is nfn. Yep, that's the one right there. So name function, we can do that. We're gonna call this init and we'll call it init viz. You can hit tab to get to the params. I'm gonna delete those, hit tab again. Okay, now we're inside. And what we're gonna write here is we're gonna say new tableau dot viz and we'll say ref.current, we're gonna pass that URL, and then here's the options. We wanna have the width, we will set that to, uh, let's go 100%, and we'll also set the height. Let's do this one to 90, of the view height. Perfect. All right. So the next thing is when this page loads, we want to call this this function. So how do we do that? Well, we can use the use effect hook. And again, I'll put links to all these things in the description below. But you can just say use effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to initialize that viz and really that's that's all there is to it let's go ahead and highlight this whole thing we'll right click and we'll say format document let me pull this down so you can actually see <laughs> sorry about that so this should be the basic setup to embed a viz let's go ahead and take a look see if we have any errors Use effect, it's not defined. Let's see, there we go. Reloading, and there we have it. We've embedded a dashboard. You can see that it fit because we set the width to 100%, and it's awesome. We have our basic embed and our dashboard. So with that said, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next lesson.